Hello everybody, Dr. Randy Wirtz in Thrive Chiropractic. Thanks for watching, I appreciate that. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about a whole new level of headaches, and it's the migraine headaches. You know, there's headaches that start from the back, go to the front, and they start up here, and they go to the back, but then there's the migraine, which is just a throbbing, relentless headache that just does not give up. Now, there's many things that can cause headaches, I tell you that, from anywhere from, you know, um, issues with the eyes, issues um, with your eye strain, stress, cyst of severe cases, um, there could be obviously those types of things. But when we get a migraine, you know it's a migraine. I've had one in my life. It woke me up four o'clock in the morning when I was in college from a dead sleep and I wanted to curl. I actually rolled on the ground and curled up in, the, in a ball because it was just so bad. Um, I never had a migraine. I never had a hit like that again in my life, but I've had some doozies. Um, but uh, that was bad. So I understand what these people are going through when they have migraines and there's sometimes these people are getting them like one or twice a week um, that they're having migraines or three times a week and I'm like what how do you even live so you know there's a lot of things that as a result of having the migraines you'll start to have other things associated with these as well so you have visual disturbances or could be an aura associated with this that you start seeing different colors uh, you can even get some blurred vision or start even seeing spots because you can feel like the blood pressure and the, and the, um, that's just uh, having an effect on the optic nerve. So those are our indication. And actually, it's due to increased pressure in the, in the head around your brain. Here, you can start to get ringing in the ears, some dizziness with this as well. Um, those are some things that you'll start to, to have an effect as well. So uh, what are some things that you can do to obviously take care of it or, or, or resolve this. Obviously one is know the triggers that cause these migraines because they usually have triggers. And I mean my triggers is something that's gonna stimulate them. Um, you're predisposed to them. So why don't we ask what's causing them or what can happen. Stress is a big one um, that can cause migraines. Certain uh, foods can cause migraines. You know, uh, Chocolate might be one for you and I know it's not popular uh, with women because they love chocolate. Most women love chocolate. Um, but, you know, those can be little triggers. I've seen women that came into my office had a wheat allergy or wheat intolerance and she would walk in with sunglasses on and she would walk in, um, she would walk in and have to shut the lights off because the migraine was so bad and it wasn't until she figured out that she had a wheat allergy that was triggering this and it showed up later on in life that was, that was actually causing this too. I'll, always, uh, I'll usually see people that have my uh, headaches, usually the posture's off in their head. And what happens is when their posture's off, there's fluid that the brain sets in and it actually flows. And if this is backing up into the head, it's not allowed to kind of drain through the spinal cord, that's gonna cause increased pressure as well. So I'll see people that have uh, head misalignment. And what it usually is is this head rotation. And usually nine out of 10 people will have Head, uh, that have head rotation will have some type of headache. And I can point that out really quick where their head's actually tilted like this. Their eyes are playing tricks on them because their eyes think they're straight and they'll adapt. But that's uh, a telltale sign that usually a person has a headache and usually one out of every uh, 10 people of those will have migraine of some type. So uh, if that's a question or if you have concerns or if you need somebody to check your neck, hey, see, you got these migraines, get it checked out you don't have to live with them the rest of your life. And a lot of people think like they just do and the medication they're taking is the only answer and it's definitely not. Um, so by all means, uh, if we can help in any way, let us know uh, because your life is, has a lot more to deal with than having to plan your day around your time and your life around the migraine headaches that you're suffering with, okay? Uh, take care, have a wonderful day. Give us a call if we can help.